Okay, now we're going to log in and configure the Zabbix server front end. Okay, so we've configured the Zabbix server process already when we changed the configuration file before. Now we're going to set the user interface. And the user interface is PHP scripts. Okay, so we can go to the IP address that we were given from DigitalOcean and the one that we SSH onto. For me, that was that. And if you type slash Zabbix... It should work for you. If your browser is restrictive like mine, you'll get a warning that this is a HTTP website and you'll have an option to continue to the HTTP site down there. And there we go, that's Savix 7. In a later video, I'll add SSL. But for now, just be aware that your browser may give you the warning before you visit the page. Anyway, it's okay, I'm there now. Welcome to Zabbix 7. Now, if you're unable to view this screen, it may be that you have a firewall rule blocking. HTTP by default needs to use port 80. So double check if your server has a firewall rule on it or your cloud provider has port 80 blocked. With DigitalOcean, port 80 is open. We can block ports by creating a firewall on DigitalOcean and I'll show you this in the next lessons. But right now the default droplet when we first create it isn't restricted. It does not block port 80 on Ubuntu 24.04. Okay, so we can press next step. Okay, everything says okay. That is very good. That's what you want to see. Next step, okay. The database, we now have to put in the information. Okay, the database name was Zabbix. That's what we created before. Just store in plain text. I'm not going to use any of these services. My user was Zabbix and the password was password. Okay, next step. Okay, I'm just going to call it Zabbix server, like so, and default UTC, and default theme, blue. A lot of people use dark. I'm going to stick with blue. Next step. Okay, that's very good. Next step. Congratulations, you've successfully installed the Zabbix front end. Okay, if you ever need it, there was a configuration file created for your Zabbix server front end. Just there. So finish. Okay, this is my browser giving me these warnings. You may not have those, but the username was capital A D M I N admin, and the password is Zabbix Z A B B I X. Sign in. Okay, so I'm logged into Zabbix now. Excellent. Okay, the first thing we should do is change our password. So users, users, admin, change password. The current password, which was Z-A-B-B-I-X, all lowercase, to the new password. Okay, and update. Okay, all right. Capital A and your password. Sign in. And there we go, I'm logged in to my new Zabbix server. In the next videos, I'll show you how to set up SSL and a domain name. And these are optional, but I'm going to show you anyway, because it'll make your Zabbix server look much more professional. Anyway, excellent.